The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 10th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. We'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 It's the number to call in on. If you got a question but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's off 13, S&P down 20, NASDAQ 100 down 123. Russell's up 9, semis are up 17, Tranny's up 187. Gold is off 23 bucks, silver's down 9 cents, slice we crude off 28 pennies, natural gas up 14 cents. Uh, that's trading out at 215, and the 30 treasury trading out at 132.11. That's off 24 ticks. Now, leading the charge dollar-wise to the upside, we've got Pioneer Natural Resources. Now, that's, I believe that's a buyout uh, potential offer or something like that from ExxonMobil here, maybe just as I was coming on the air. Avis Budget uh, Group is up 9 bucks or 5%. John Deere up 7.42%. United Rentals up 7 bucks or 2%. Five Below is up above 5 That's a $7.58 move, about 3.6%. To the downside, it is Mercado Libre off about 13 bucks, $16 from SCI. Uh, WD-40, it's not uh, so good this morning, off 12 bucks. And uh, lastly, you've got uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific off seven bucks. That's about one percent move to the downside. So, hope everybody had a great weekend out there. Nice to be back with you. It was a quite a Masters golf tournament for those of you that are golf lovers out there. I mean, we saw every weather condition. I think that you could see we saw some amazing golf um, between yesterday. Uh, really, yesterday was just. I mean, it was good golf the other couple days, but yesterday, pretty extraordinary golf by Jordan Spieth and uh, Phil Mickelson. I mean, two of the best rounds. I don't know if they were the two best single final rounds out there by a pairing. Got to be, though. I mean, it was extraordinary golf. And, and then you uh, had the fight going on between Rahm and, and uh, Kepka out there. And, and even uh, get Patrick Reed get in the mix. You know, three of the top five guys were live, live guys out there. Um, pretty interesting. It was a great golf tournament. But let's get to the uh, let's get to what's going on here inside these uh, markets. And so let's go to our first question because our first question is from Roger. Let me actually get to it. It'll make it a little bit easier for Stevie here. And Roger, I think this might be the first time Roger's written. He says, "Good morning, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well also. You trade weekly options and also uh, two to three day swing trades on the Diamond and Spies. So the question is, where do you think they are going this week? They have uh, and have a great week. You do as well. And God bless you too. So if we take a look at, let's just start by take a look at the ES Mini. Well, let's do this. I'll stay on this page here. So this is the first and most important thing, perhaps, Roger, that we need to know, any of us out here. And that is if we take a look at the uh, ES Mini, you asked about the ES Mini and the Dow. So those are going to be your left-hand panel. We're taking a look at the equity future contracts. 
because they're providing you and I with the best information out here. And right now what we've got is just a good old-fashioned consolidation. So in, with regard to the ES Mini, and that's what you really want to benchmark things off of. It's between 4076 and 4171. Inside the Dow, it's between 33320 and 33737. So you've just got a consolidation pattern that is going on. So from a trading standpoint, you're more likely to want to take a trade as price reaches the top of those consolidations to the downside. Uh, uh, 33737 is the uh, Dow number, 4171, again, the ES Mini. We're kind of right at the midpoint here, so not really a great ideal setup. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, now this is something new since this morning. Quite frankly, it's something new in the last half hour. And that is that there is a new profile that is attempting to form here as well. It's bullish in structure. It talks to us about a consolidation in essence. The reason why I say that, we're looking at the lower left hand panel but I'll just simply expand it out and uh, describe to you again what it is that I'm looking at here this new profile that is attempting to form so to please realize we will not have confirmation of this until this evening showing your home screen right I want my home screen yeah so uh, uh, if if uh, if it does hold prices hit support this morning down at 1760 resistance 1804 but notice how this current profile is with inside the prior profile what that tells us Roger is to expect and anticipate a consolidating market so you're asking what is the market going to do for the next uh, couple of days I really think it's more of an intraday trader type uh, pattern out there and we don't have consistency what I mean by we don't have consistency if you look at the upper right hand panel that is the NQ uh, price is trading above the top of its profile and that number there is up at 13.062 so this is the NQ is saying I should go target 13.996 but if today is a bearish reversal candle although not shown here it would actually go ahead and uh, confirm a Rhodesman Dominicator top now let's go over to the white background chart just try to get some type of feel if any with regard to what's going on intraday out here and so on a uh, on an intraday basis, the 60-minute time frame chart has a confirmed by the D point pattern. The A to B, I'll just simply draw that in out here. So here's A to B. We can just move that over to the C point. This was more than a one-to-one. -one. A to B equals CD to the downside. What we do is we wait for a bullish reversal candle. That tells us the pattern has completed out there. And so you've got that. What price should do is go target the 4121 level. In the 30-minute chart, you also have a confirmed by the D point pattern. And price right now is trading above profile resistance. If price closes above Above, and this really be the oscillator and change line number 4113. Let's call 4114. We're at 4114 right now. If price closes about 4114. Then the 30 minute chart is saying I want higher price. This target, quite frankly, is all the way up at 4133. 50 minute charts got a Rosemont to indicator bottom TD9 count on the 10 minute. The other charts here along the top, we can see the price is pulled back to prior lows out there. So that most certainly can suggest or does suggest to us with regard to the S mini is that it should bounce from here. And you got to really pay attention to those intraday 10 15 30 and 60 minute charts out there for signals if we take a look at what's going on market breadth wise and i don't know the answer to this we're going to find out here momentarily we are slight well let me just switch this here let me just make sure it gets updated i'll do the nq first now now that i'll know i have updated data figures out here so the nq is uh, is bullish 40 above 24 below so the 30-minute NQ should, we didn't look at that yet, but the 30-minute NQ should continue to rally. And with regard to the ES Mini right now, you've got 124 above, 160 below. So a little rocky waters here on a 30-minute time frame chart for the ES Mini. It's almost telling us right now that it's going to struggle to clear that oscillator and change line right up into resistance. But let's give it some time. It's got about 16 minutes out there, but I'd be paying attention to those shorter-term time frame charts, Roger. So to summarize it, Raj, I think we are in a consolidation pattern out there. You'd love to see short-term topping signals as price hits the top of those profiles and short-term bottoming signals as price hits the bottom of those profiles for your intraday or two-day trade, perhaps. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, Dow has turned just slightly positive out there. That's really the only significant change since we were last uh, together. Let's uh, get to our uh, our next question here coming in from Hector. Hector and Patty. Hector's question goes like this. Happy Marvelous Monday. Thank you. Same to you both. Uh, Microsoft on a weekly base AB equals CD up. Looks, uh, looks like a monster bullish breakout. Thoughts on that? Okay. And over the weekend, we visited your ultimate reversal. After Microsoft has all the criteria. Yep, 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 yep. Addition to CD. Thinking for your archive library. You bet. So let's go take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern. There's really a couple patterns out here, Hector and Patty. And uh, Mike. Uh, also, who's got a request in for uh, Microsoft that we'll take a look at. So let's first get to these charts here. Now, what Hector was referring to is the weekly A to B equals CD. The A point, very easy to identify. It's the lowest low out there. That took place during October of 2022. That uh, rallied, price rallied right up into a high that formed in February of 2023. We had about a two to three month pullback out there into February 27. A couple weeks, I'm sorry, I'm on a weekly chart and on a monthly chart. I'll eventually get things uh, corrected here. Pulls back into February 27th, and then the B point gets passed the week of March 13th. Volume there, 237 million shares, was passing $196 million swing point. So now we have a confirmed A to B equals C to the upside, and as Hector pointed out, it's a strong one. Why is it a strong one? Really for two different reasons out here. The first one is the retracement of this B to C leg, as he was pointing out. It is less than a 0.618. It's actually just slightly less than a 50% retracement. Typically, and you just picture, figure it like this, this is how the A to B equals CD pattern works. It's the easiest. We're all visual. Some of us are physical. And just take a rubber band, wrap it around that index finger as hard as you possibly can, back it off about 50%, let it go. Do the same thing, back it off 61%, let it go. Which one has more energy? 
Exactly. So you do a normal retracement, 0.618, odds favor you're going to do a one-to-one -one out there. But if you do something less than that, well, it's giving you the idea that it might do an extension. In this case here, we can also take a look at how price pulled off of that C point. Explosive move, wide-ranging bar, big volume, and prices along the left-hand side of that C to D leg. That's that the yellow line that you see. But regardless of whether it's going to do a one-to-one, or more than a one to one, the first price target becomes 308.94 on the weekly time frame. Then we're conservative, A to B equals CD. If we take a look at on the daily time frame, I'm just starting from a different swing point out there. We'll get us up to the 308, 303.20 level out there. Now, what we want to take a look at out here. So that's the A to B equals CD pattern. It is a big, strong move to the upside out there, but we do have a signal that uh, price might be getting ready to pull back. So first, uh, we'll stay on this chart here. You've got the new profile. This formed here a couple of days ago. So make sure you jot this down, both uh, Mike and uh, Hector and Patty. Everybody else, you got to close your ears. Uh, 288.61, that's the top of the profile. 279.41 is the bottom of the profile. Now, the reason that you want to pay attention to that is because as we turn over to the white background charts, what we're going to see is Rosemontum indicator or a TD9 count top. My apology. TD9 count top that formed on Friday it was the bar following bar number nine as the Rhodes Mintum indicator signal triggered as well. Doesn't matter. That requires a bearish reversal candle. We don't need that for a top now. You've got the TD9 count top. And if price does close below its green oscillator and change line, which is currently printed at 287.39, price is likely to fall back to 279.41. That's the bottom of its profile. If price broke through there, both Hector and Mike, price would then target the breakout level of 272.05. Now, we can see that on a weekly basis, price has gotten up towards its TD9 count breakdown area. And that's at that 292.30. So, Hector, you really want to be watching that level for confirmation that this larger weekly A to B equals CD pattern is back on its merry way. Otherwise, that is your uh, land of uh, of the uh, battle, the 292.30 out there. You've got the daily Rhodesman Dominicator pattern uh, that, and I'm sorry, you've got the daily TD9 count top that is in place out there. If we look real quickly to a 30-minute time frame chart, this did form a TD9 count top as well. And what price did is pulled back towards its breakout level of support. It hasn't gotten there. That would be at the 283.11 area out there. So with regard to Microsoft, uh, both Mike and Hector, I think with regard to the A to B equals CDs, we uh, covered that for you. Mike, I think uh, maybe you were just saying, hey, can we take a look at uh, both Apple and Microsoft? We'll certainly get to uh, Apple as well. But in the case of Microsoft, you see the top, you see what it's doing, you know where support levels are at. And I do hope that that helps both of you out. Uh, let's go to our uh, – and we'll come back to uh, – I'll come back to the uh, – to the Apple one uh, for you there, uh, Mike. Next question is from Alton. And Alton wants to take a look at the GDX. So let's get over to those GDX charts and let's read Alton's question. Alton's question goes, that was Apple. Oh, I thought I had the GDX. Let's try this. There we go. Okay. Good morning, Steve. Is silver a good buy here for a long-term hold or is the GDX still the better option? Thank you, Steve, and have a wonderful uh, week. You do as well. So your question about the GDX, is it a buy here? I would say no. The reason I would say no, Alton, you were asking if silver's a buy. Well, let me just answer in, in the GDX as well, because saying is the GDX a better option. The GDX is a buy at around 33.15. The reason I say that, Hector, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Alton, is because we've got a TD9 count top that completed two days ago. Price is pulling back. We've actually, you know, tested the lows of of uh, Friday out there. The green oscillator and change line should get tested. If price tests and rejects that level, which you'd like to see is on, a, let's say, an intraday chart, some type of bottoming pattern forming at that same time or approximately that same time, that would your, be your buy signal into the GDX. We'll take a look at silver to answer your question. In the case of the GDX, the GDX has a swing point that was taken out last week. The swing point that it took out was from the week of January 27. 104 million shares traded hands that uh, week. Last week, 115 million. So now the GDX has a confirmed weekly A to B equals CD to the upside. And it's a doozy. If we just simply take the A to B point, then we'll just simply move that over towards the uh, C point out here. Let's do this. Let's get that in there. It's about like that. Um, shoot. Maybe, well, just about right there. So that gives us, uh, that gets us to, on a one-to-one -one basis, gets us up towards a $38 level. We can see we're trading. I mean, the, the GDX is looking very strong. So you do want to wait for some type of a uh, pullback out there. Now let's go try to answer the question about silver. What is silver doing? That's a great question. Now there's a couple different things. I think there's a couple different things that I want to point out. Oh, let's, uh, shoot. Nope, I'm going to go switch over to another 
chart out here. I'm going to have to call an audible. Uh, Mr. Bill was kind enough to uh, let me know that I misspoke when I was taking a look at the uh, natural gas contract. Uh, something had switched on my cursor. The key level for natural gas that it must overcome to suggest that this bottom or a bottom may take hold is going to be $2.19. I was looking at the center profile from a previous profile. It's at two eighty five. It is two nineteen. You can see how price, and the reason why that was such a, or is such a key level is we did have two consecutive closes below the bottom of the profile. When that happens, counter trend moves will find resistance usually at that center. And that's exactly what has transpired here for natural gas over the last three trading sessions. So you want to be watching that 219 area. If we can do that, at least gets us up to 234. Doesn't tell us whether price will take out 234, but that would be a uh, positive out there. So I do want to pass that on to you. If we take a look at silver, silver is trying to form a new profile, Alton, and it is trying to form that new profile below price. That is a bullish outcome. So in this case here, Maybe what silver is going to do is pull back to 24.45, or maybe it's not going to pull back whatsoever. You've got a TD9 count top. It's kind of hard to say is silver a good buy here. Um, also knowing that the U.S. dollar index, so on this set of charts here that we're looking at, all we have to do is let our eyes go straight over to the left, and you'll see the U.S. dollar index, which has a buy the D point pattern. Alton, if I knew the answer, can the U.S. dollar index close above 102.58? Then we'd have a real... A much better, not a real better, but a much better idea of what silver, the GDX, and gold want to do. I think that's the real key. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Oh, yeah, Dow's uh, just a slightly uh, negative off about three points. SP down 18, NASDAQ 100, 105, and the Russell is up a full uh, 10 points out there. Uh, let's go to, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to, uh, which charts are we on? Okay. Let's uh, get over here and take a look at silver. I just want to finish that uh, question that had uh, come in. So if we take a look at silver out here, um, you can see the TD9 count top on the daily base. That's in your upper left-hand corner. So what I'd love to see you do, Alton, is I'd love to see you wait for silver to pull back to 24, 22, or thereabouts. That's the green oscillator and change line. So you got a TD9 count top, a oscillator and change line that changed colors. Price should pull back to test that. Don't know exactly the price point it'll be when that unfolds, but right now it's 24.22. If you get a test rejection of that green oscillator and change on, that is your next buy point. Now, at that point in time, conditions would be neutral because you still would have a valid top, but a key level of support would have held out there. So that's what I would be looking for with regard to what's going on inside of the metals, and I would also be paying attention to the dollar. And the question is, can it bust through the consolidation, meaning to close above the top of its profile out there? So I hope that helps you out, uh, Alton. G-Man, I know you were asking about the GDX as well, so I hope that the information I provided on the GDX was helpful to you as well. Mike had asked, it, uh, had asked it, you know, that's beautiful. Gee, Stevie, man, apparently I need more time off. We're going to work on that. But let's go take a look at what uh, Mike is uh, interested in, which is Microsoft. So where did I put the Microsoft chart at? Uh, that's the Apple. Oh, it's Apple. You want a Microsoft and Apple. See, I eventually figure things out. So as we take a look at Apple out here, what Apple has done, uh, Mike, is it's pulled back and tested support. And that's the bottom of its daily profile, 160.32. The actual low in Apple today has been 160.08. So as long as 160.32 holds, and even though Apple is down significantly on sales, it's uh, held a very key level of support. Uh, we have a wave number C. Uh, G, we, we have a wave number G. That's a seventh wave move out there for a top. We have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top because of the gap down on Friday. But then again, just a consolidation with inside its daily profile. So its overall signal is still bullish. If it closed below the bottom of that profile, 160.32, Mike, then that would suggest a further pullback. Now, the next area of support, quite frankly, for Apple is down at 137.90. But really, we'd be looking at this TD9 count bottom of March the 2nd out there on a further pullback if price broke through support. It has not. Now, as price was testing that level of support, what was going on on the 30 minute time frame? Excellent question. Let's go try to answer that question. Well, it was forming a roads momentum indicator signal. And right at 11 a.m., just we were coming on the air, that pattern was confirmed with a bullish engulfing candle. What that then suggests that we should see a move up to its oscillator and change line right at around the 162.54 level out there. And if Apple can overcome that, well, then a further rally, 164.30, 164.58, 164.87 being battleground areas out there. As we take a look at the weekly time frame chart here for Apple, what do we see? We see that price made its way right up into resistance. That's its descending uh, price channel line out there. So not uh, unusual to see price pull back out there. Now, in the case of Apple, we really want to watch this chart for Apple because you get up to a long term descending price channel. This could be a significant top out here for Apple and could be pulling back. So the first level to be watching out there, uh, Mike, is uh, to watch that 160.32 level. Um, there's not anything else that I've got for you on Apple. So I do hope that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for listening in and your request. SNP inside our Tiger State. I wanted to take a look at ticker symbol N double E. And N double E is a grape knee high out there. No, it's not that. It is Next Terra Energy. And the question was I don't recall the question was to take a look at it because you are long, is my recollection. What we have in the case of Next Terra Energy is a TD nine count top. That uh, formed on Friday. It completes today. We can see its oscillator and change line recently changed color from red to green. That suggests that price should target it. So SNP price should target 76.52. Uh, that would be your next place to add to a position if that area were to hold. Again, you go down to a 30-minute time frame chart. Look for some type of bottoming signal. Speaking of 30-minute time frame charts, we only have a topping signal. We have a topping signal, roads momentum indicator top, price below breakout support. 76.38 becomes its next price target on that 30-minute time frame chart. If price gets to 76.38, it's going to be very close to that green oscillator and change line on the daily time frame frame out there so you'll want to watch those patterns uh, but you do have a top in next terra energy that's on the daily time frame. the weekly time frame boy it looked beautiful on friday as price had closed above the top of the weekly profile but it's only monday 
Maybe it uh, uh, finds its legs this week and it continues to close above 78.46. And if it does that, that tells you about its intent to go a target 86.47 out there. So that's what I see, SNP, when I take a look at uh, Next Terra Energy. I hope that that helps you out. And thank you so very much for your request. Nicholas writes in, and Nicholas wants to take a look at Home Depot. Let's get over to the charts. Let's get to the question. Let's read the question. The question goes like this. Good morning, Steve. Uh, would you please go over Home Depot for a long entry? Thank you. Have a great day. You too as well. So if we take a look at Home Depot, what do we see out here? On the daily time frame, what we have is a Wave 7 bottom. Let me just expand this out see what else we might be able to see out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just talk about uh, let's not talk about how it formed a bottom, which looks like a buy the D point uh, out here. Uh, is that uh, right now what price is doing? Uh, HD is uh, and you want an entry point. So this morning, price pulled back and was testing its oscillator and change on top of its profile, and that held. It did the same thing on Friday. So what you know right now is a key level of support is the top of the profile, old resistance becoming new support, and that number is 285.89. I'm going to suggest that if you want to take a long position in Home Depot, that uh, you buy that on a pullback at 285.89. That would be an area for you to watch and observe and perhaps take a long position. If I look at a weekly time frame chart, what do we have out here? We have a consolidation with inside its profiles between the 28504. It's really a bit lower than that, but around 28504 up to 336. And on a monthly basis, you've just got a Rhodes Mintum indicator and TD9 count top uh, with price consolidating with inside its profile. So Home Depot gets a little bit more complicated. Out of curiosity, what was a 30 minute time frame chart doing this morning as price had pulled back in and really on Friday? What was it doing out there? And the answer is Stevie doesn't know. Now, there was an A to B equals CD pattern that completed out here. Price tested that uh, swing point. Let's see with volume. Volume was 252,000 against 214. Well, there you go. So on a 30-minute basis, price tested and rejected a swing point on lighter volume. You are above the top of its bullish structured 30-minute profile. Price should continue to move higher. At least that's what the 30-minute chart here for Home Depot is saying. Now, let's get back to the daily. Yeah. So price should continue to move higher out there, but still with regard to your entry point, you know, maybe the third time is the charm. And so I'd stick with that 285.59. Nicholas, I do hope that helps you out. And as always, thank you for the request. Way to request inside the Tiger's Den. I believe it was from McGuppy out there, wanted to take a look at uh, CF Industries out here. So CF, that's not it. Let's go. Actually, I don't think I've typed it in. So let's go type it in now. And if I did, well, we'll retype it. The question goes like this. says, uh, good morning, Steve. Great Master Sunday. Yes, it definitely was. Can you imagine playing in that 40-degree weather when it's damp like that out there and the wind was blowing from the north? Woo! That's cold weather. Uh, uh, you know, I wear a parka when it gets into the 60s out here. So uh, Great Master Sunday. Yeah. Could you please tell me if you think uh, CF is a buy here? For a medium to long term, it's breaking out above the 21-day simple moving average. Um, is it also breaking above the daily OUL and other levels that we use? Folks, we get back to this break. We're going to go take a look at CF Industries. That's for SNP. Uh, what was that for? That was for McGuppy inside the Tiger's Den. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're going to take a look at CF Industries out here. This is for one of our uh, denners. Unfortunately, CF, I, I don't, I can't get access to historical. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I get access to historical data. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what's going on with that, with that system. So let's take a look at CF Industries out here. The question from McGuppy is, is it a buy? And that was based upon it breaking out above its 21-day simple moving average. His question specifically is, is this breaking out above profile? And the answer there is no. In order to do that, McGuppy, we would need to see a close above 74.91. Price hit 74.91 and so far has rejected that level. Now, you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. It's actually being confirmed as we speak right now with that little gap to the upside um, and that uh, bullish separating line out here. But you really got to close above 74.91 to then suggest that we may have a change in trend on a daily time frame. And that change of trend out there, McGuppy, should then take us up towards the 85.17 level. That's a TD9 count breakdown area. If we look at the weekly chart, what this shows us is a buy the D point pattern. You can easily see the A to B, the C, all the way down to the D out there. And you had that uh, bull shash candle that formed three weeks ago. That was the week that ended March the 31st. So what price should do here, you're trading with inside profiles. Your support level is 70.12. Your resistance area is 78.78. And that red oscillator and change line is printed at 77.97. So odds favor, if you can get a close above 74.91, that should then take price up to, let's call it 78.78. And if price close above 78.78, you're off to the races. The price should continue to move higher. The weak link on this three-panel uh, set of charts is really the monthly time frame. No bottoming signal in place. Price took out a swing point. That was a swing point from January of 2023. 59 million shares were done there. 68 million shares done last month. That's actually a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's actually draw that in here. So as we take a look at CF, Got A to B. We're just simply, I'll just simply copy it this time. Copy and paste. And I will just move this over to the uh, D point. And this would really suggest to you and I, McGuppy, that what price wants to do is pull back towards 4404. The actual one to one price projection gets you down to about 5106 or thereabouts. So the monthly time frame has a confirmed 
uh, A to B equals C D to the downside. The daily and the weekly, the weekly, by the way, has a buy the D point pattern. So it at least suggests we should see some type of rally. But that real key, the rally could be over if it cannot clear 74.91, the top of its profile on the daily time frame. So McGuppy, I hope that helps you out with regard to um, CF Industries. And yes, S&P, that answered your question with regard to NEOK, Next Year Energy, perfect. All right, so I believe we are through all of the questions out here. I believe we are. Um, not that I'm happy to take more. I'm most certainly happy to take more out there. So uh, 877 Or you can go and send me an email. Send that steve at tfn.com. Uh, but send it really quick. I, I, I don't know that I would actually get to it by the time it goes through the uh, process here. So let's do this. Um, what do we want to do? I would have to close all these things down to do that. So I won't do that during this segment. But what we will we'll do is we'll take a look at the U.S. dollar index uh, as we begin that next segment out here. So in this case, let's just go take a look at what's going on in the uh, gold marketplace with regard to uh, the U.S. dollar trading uh, uh, as high as it is right now. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, gold docs. We're taking a look at silver. We've got that TD9 count top. So we've covered that. Now let's go take a look and see what gold is doing out here. And again, I believe that gold could form a Rosemont indicator top today if we do get that bearish reversal candle. Um, I'm missing some data here. So let me, I don't know why I did that, but let's restore, reload everything. At least I believe I'm missing some data out here. So let me see when this thing here populates. Come on, baby. Huh. Don't know why it's taking its time, but it is. And sorry about the silence out there. And I can't get gold to populate this daily chart out there. But I know that, uh, well, okay, we're going to go with it. I guess that is the that is the candle formation. So with regard to uh, Goldilocks, uh, we've got uh, no uh, no topping pattern out here. The only thing we've got in gold, as I mentioned to you, was that new profile that's attempting to form. It's not shown on this chart here. So jot these numbers, numbers down, 2040. Uh, 0 0.90 is the top of the profile. 1974.2 is the bottom of that profile. On a five-hour time frame chart, we have a TD9 count bottom that is going to complete at 2 p.m. It's 11.47. So you want to watch that. On a, well, a four-hour time frame chart, the TD9 count pattern was negated. So that's not really great news. So that then says, when we take a look at a two-hour time frame chart, the level to be watching it's going to be the 1995.50 level. That on a two-hour time frame is its breakout area. I've got a bottom on the 30-minute chart. That is a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. A price has got to take out that oscillator and change line in order to get any upside traction. The same is true with regard to the 15-minute time frame chart. And on a 10-minute uh, basis, it's got uh, zilch. It's got nothing out there. So Goldilocks. So. How are we going to assess Goldilocks here? Uh, we're going to have to pay attention most certainly to the uh, most certainly to the uh, to the U.S. dollar. But we've got a caller on the line. Let's go out to Maryland. Suwa, thank you for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Thank you so much, Steve, for taking my call. Fine, my pleasure. Thank you. How about you? Everything okay? Yes, yes, very much so. Amazon, okay. AMZN is a ticker symbol you're calling about. Uh, Suwa, what are you doing? How can I help you? Yeah, I, I have a Amazon, it's high price and keep dropping. I just wonder what is the support level or what should I keep it or? Okay, so with regard to- I for something. Yeah, so support can answer that question. Support on a daily time frame is 100.25. And what we saw Amazon do both on Friday and today was test that level. So that level is held so far. If you were to see a close below 100.25, and most specifically two consecutive closes, then we're likely to see a move back to about 97.08. 97.08 is the top of its weekly profile. So that's old resistance that now becomes support. And that support level, again, or resistance, it would be 97.08. So the first level of support, 100.25. The second level of support, that's if price closes below that, is 97.08 out there. Now, yeah. resistance, 
resistance is at 104.20. And that's a level, in essence, that price closed at a couple of days ago. So if price can close above 104.20, and I don't have any kind of a topping pattern out there. In fact, let's just see if this confirmed an A to B equals C to the upside. The swing point on a daily basis for the benchmark that we would use is March 22nd. Did volume of 57 million shares. As that was passed, it was passed with 57 million shares, 56 and change, 57, 48. So I'm going to say we've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside in Amazon on a daily time frame. And that would give us a price projection. I'm going to give you an approximate price projection here uh, just based upon the way I'm doing it. That should take us back all the way up to that high that formed on February 2nd. And that was a TD nine count top. So it gives us about the 111 uh, area, 110-ish area on a daily time frame. Uh, and price is holding support. So your question was, where is support? We've answered that. Should you hold it or sell it? I would hold it at this stage here. You need to at least see price break through those areas of, of support out there. And you've got those two areas oh. to uh, to focus on. Is there, any, is there anything else oh. that I can, can do for yeah, you? Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. You have a you wonderful bet. day. Thanks so much. You do as well. Great to speak with you. Yeah, we'll 111, back. right? Okay, thanks. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be back in just a few, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's go take a look at the U.S. dollar index. Those should be the charts that are up on your screen. We've got our multi-panel set of charts out there. So on the daily time frame, I'll just simply expand out the chart. 
There was that A to B equals C to the upside as well as a Rhodes momentum indicator top. That's not what we're looking at now. We're looking at the buy the D point pattern that formed out here. So that was um, uh, your A to B. Your A point was out here on March 8th. Your B point was the uh, low on March 15th. Your C point was the high from March 15th. That set up our A to B equals CD pattern out here. That uh, buy the D point pattern uh, got negated on Friday. Uh, did it get negative? Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm looking. Sorry, I take that back. U.S. dollar index confirmed a buy the D point pattern on April the 5th. And now price above that red oscillator change line, consolidating with inside its daily profile out here, support at 101.25, resistance 102.58. The question is, will price take out 102.58? If you take a look at a five-hour time frame chart, we can see that price run into resistance at 102.44. Note that on a pad of paper. Close above that says higher price. The four-hour time frame chart, no topping signal. Price took out its or has taken out its TD9 count breakdown area. That is strong and bullish. Same thing on the two-hour time frame chart, a very strong and bullish chart there. 60-minute chart looks very bullish. The 30-minute chart has a TD9 count top. That tells you and I that if we do see the U.S. dollar index close above 102.47, well, it should go at least get to that 102.58, but might be signaling something else to the upside out there. You've got a TD9 count, Roach to Medicare top on the 15, same on the 10. I would just simply keep your eyes on that 30-minute time frame chart for the U.S. dollar index. The other time frame suggests higher price. You've got a bit of a, a retracement here, sideways move after this TD9 count top on the U.S. dollar index, and that should help. Folks, that should help us to understand whether we're just seeing uh, the way the equity markets are moving as we speak right now and the way that the uh, metals markets are moving. That includes the uh, GDX as well. So that's what's going on. Stay tuned. We've got some uh, great uh, shows lined up for you. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday, and that'll be 11 o'clock sharp. So have a magnificent Monday. Thanks much for joining us. I'll see you at about 3.15 with uh, Tom. Not sure what we're going to come talk about. But Stevie will come up with something. Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.